Hey you, so I wanted to talk about tin foil hat and silver stacking. So when I say that, I'm referring to a lot of the things some silver stackers may say to individuals. And the individual then go on to look at them like they're the mad hatter or the likes of. So whether it be a conspiracy theory that they may believe in or something they may constantly say and others shoot them down, um, just writing them off as damn right insane. So I wanted to bring up a couple of the more most popular things that silver stackers say that I either disagree or agree with and just give my points on them and see whether anybody watching this would put in the comments to any conspiracy theories they believe in regarding silver or anything that's way out there that you believe to be true as to why you're stacking silver for when the day comes and whatever you may believe in now turns out to be true so i'm gonna break straight into these just a couple of things i want to bring up it's the usual suspects so let's give my views on them so the first one i'm going to bring up is when individuals silver stackers in general say that silver is running low so where i stand on that i personally don't believe silver reserves or silver in general is running low whether it's above below to the side or to the right or out the window i personally don't believe silver is running low i don't think we're going to be out of silver altogether in five or ten years now the good thing about this is as i'm a silver stack and i've got a lot invested in silver should it turn out that i'm wrong about this it's not going to be a situation where i'm thinking oh god damn i wish i stacked some silver it's all gone now i'm still invested but it's one that's out there i'm obviously associated with silver and silver stacking but it's not one that i personally take on board i don't think it's running low i just think either right about now they've got a lot more on their plate there's many more ways and means to mine it should that time come if it ever becomes more cost effective for them and the likes of we all know it's a byproduct and the likes of but when we're talking about is silver or silver's running low as a whole in a couple of years we'll be out altogether i don't personally take that on board so that's my view on whether silver is running low personally i don't take it on board i don't think it is i think it's more than abundant i just don't know it's like the peak oil situation i think the old boys in charge have just got their own ulterior motives going on as to what they're going to do and when they're going to do it maybe when prices shoot through the roof or whatever they're like haha we just found a brand new mine and another one here another one there but that's my views on whether I believe the tin four hat saying or phrase silver's running low. And I've seen many people laugh at individuals when they say that. I don't laugh, I smile, but you know, I'm, I'm all silver, I'm still on board, but I don't acknowledge that. So the next one is going to be, as I'm displaying these date run of Kookaburra coins, is silver manipulated? So is the price of silver. They say gold and silver are both manipulated, but on silver it's more aggressively done. So where I stand on that, I believe it is, and I'm just talking from a you know tinfoil hat conspiracy theory perspective. I think it is manipulated. I think for all it's used for today and all of its uses, and definitely when we're talking about, because many will say, well, there's there's been many replacements as time's gone forward. You know, silver has this or that disadvantage, but. I think for where we are now in life, and especially when we're talking about technologies to come, you know, we're already aiming or shooting out into the stars. You know, I, I believe silver will definitely be a crucial role as it's played such a crucial role each time we've taken a step forward, whether it be from the bar boats, you know, to the, to the planes and now to the rockets. So what's next, the interstellar ships and the likes of, you know, I do think it's manipulated just for those reasons. But I feel it should be priced a lot more. You know, we're talking about a metal that plays a big role. That is what, in what I consider today a very low price. So just breaking it off just from that tin foil answer or reply from a tin foil hat individual, I would say yes, I do believe silver is manipulated. There'll be many that could put down as to how it's been proven recently. A couple of the big boys or some guys that work for the big boys were manipulating both metals and they got found out and slaps on the wrist and the likes of but it's been down for a very very long time you know i think it's it's worked in their favor so just to touch on that one i do believe silver is manipulated so on that one once again yes i do believe that tin foil hat theory um so the next one is going to be well 
should silver be worth 100 to 500 we'll say dollars in today or even for the past 50 years and the likes of should it be worth 100 to 500 dollars today um i would say yes absolutely 100 percent looking at that's, that's just me giving these answers once again nothing definitive but looking at where we are today and looking at where they both started so we're talking about gold and silver here i mean they both started at the bottom now we're here and from what i can see silver has once upon a time played a big role in in, in currency and in, in paying people and just in everyday terms of wealth whereas as we've moved more forward in life where we're at a time now in today's world where silver damn near is a crucial part of modern day living it's become more worthless in the current money system which is fiat whereas gold has played a role but it, to me it's played the same role throughout history you know it's not played no big role now you could say well that goes to show it should be worthless because it's become more industrial but the way i view it if we was to move backwards from where we are now so for instance i don't know we've got rocket ships i was just explaining airplanes automobiles um you know big cruise liners and stuff so i've also take a step back and then say for instance just move to a big boat and then a steamboat and then go further back and go cart and carriage or horse and carriage silver would be playing less of a role then you know we've got gasoline candles and lanterns and the likes of silver's going to be playing less of a role so but when we go back silver was worth more within the currency of the time where well, it was the currency of the time so if you understand what i'm saying if we were to move back from where we are now now remember we're only going to move forward i believe and know to understand we will be at star trek level at some point in time maybe not in our lifetime or our kids lifetime but we will be traveling the stars in big starships and the likes of it's just natural you know we don't start from you know rock and club and caveman to where we are today to only think we're going to stay within the same realm so i don't see how the two metals that have been associated with money how one that's damn near played the same role is worth more than one where in today's world is more crucial than ever so just from that alone i feel silver is grossly mispriced and it goes back to what i was just previously explaining when we say it's manipulated so that all makes sense why is it manipulated people say it's just an industrial metal so if that's the case we're moving forward we're not moving backwards so how can it be worth more and then they just demonetize it in fit in terms so i don't believe silver should be worth what it's worth today looking at it like that just from my own logical standpoint i think it's ridiculously priced to be honest with you talking 10 what we at? 17 dollars or the likes of yes i definitely think silver should be worth a lot more and that's one of the main reasons i went in first and so hard with that on board so they're asking whether silver should be worth and i've just given it that price tag 100 to 500 we're talking dollars here i think it should have been worth that well over 100 plus years ago you know i don't something's definitely going on when you look at it like that whether we move forward in life it's become more of an important industrial metal and yet it's worth less in the fiat currency as to what they trade in you know i know it does play a role and for, if you was going to ask me whoever's in charge whoever's got this fiat game going on what would be one reason as to why they'd want to keep it down because it gives individuals another option outside of whatever fit game they've got going on. All the papers crash. And so, you know, all they really need to do is captivate the people's minds. The people today seem to have the memories of a goldfish and <laughs> forget everything. And then realistically, they should be really looking at what is, has been considered and been used as real money throughout time. So I definitely think it should be worth anywhere from 100 to 500. Once again, call me mad hair, but this is the tin foil hat. Uh, video we're doing today so i'm going to do last but not least and this one here is one where people definitely say you're stretching but should silver go one for one with gold so on a go to silver ratio should it be one ounce of silver gets you one ounce of gold <laughs> now i've mentioned this before when i done my full gold snack video but i would say i've said yes now that was tongue-in-cheek when i did say it it is it is i don't know We'd need to be, for, to see that, if we ever do see it in my lifetime, it would be fantastic. That's arms crossed, bending down, left foot forward, right foot forward, kicking them out, 
high speed if, we, if I ever saw that within the next 50 years. Um, looking at it for what it is, even if we saw anything of the likes of below 20 or even to the 15s, if you was purchasing around where we've got a GSR in the 70s now, you're going to be getting the same effect really, you know, but one for one, we'd have to see a not, uh, personally, a lot of uses for silver where it literally is the most crucial component in whatever it is. We have situations like that now when people are trying to find cheaper options, but it obviously doesn't seem to be the case where it's just number one. But I think I would say yes, but it's more tongue in cheek. I'll, I'll bounce it down to anything's possible. Nothing's impossible, but looking at it from a logical, logical standpoint, there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to. I'd put it like that, taking on board all of the points I've just put forward. There's no reason why one ounce of silver shouldn't get you one ounce of gold, but are we going to see it any time in our lifetime, especially as I don't believe it's rare, but you know, if it's going to become or be worth something, it'll be because people see it for what it really is and then we get a price correction and the likes of should it go on to surpass gold i mean what does it need to do it's damn near done it it went on to be worth as much as gold at one point in time could buy a lot more than it could buy today i mean it's damn near using everything we use today so what more does it need to do i mean <laughs> transform into a bare hands and give you a massage when you're lonely i mean what more does silver need to do to be worth as much as gold today so that's the main thing i would say yes but it's wishful thinking when i say yes but it would be fantastic to find out which conspiracy theories regarding silver you guys believe you can put that down in the comments it'd be fantastic to hear so i'm going to wrap this one up so it'd be great if you guys could come and follow me on the other platforms that i'm on hate or love it it'd be great to know what you guys think of this video go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already so look at the two mate poop before we wrap this one off and I'll catch you guys in the rebound.